Welcome to the Art of Hitting channel. Today we're going to talk about the overlap grip again. This is going to be part two of the series where we talk to our uh, uh, club members about how and when they started to use the overlap grip and what they got out of it. Uh, so it's, uh, it's just a matter of listening to them. We'll show you a little bit of their swings. But the overlap grip, as we've talked about, you know, it's the leverage, the bat speed, it adds distance. It's got a lot of other benefits too, guys that don't consider themselves home run hitters. So let's deal with that. Now the first player is Stan. Stan has kind of a modified overlap grip. Uh, he, he doesn't put the other hand over. He's got the, his bottom hand on the barrel a little bit. So that's his swing. Let's hear what he has to say about what it does for him. Big Stan. Yes, sir. So how long have you been using overlap grip, bud? Ever since I met you. It helps. How long has that been? The audience don't know how long ago. Maybe three years, four years. Three years, years. okay. So tell me what the overlap grip's done for you. It extends the bat because you're down on the bottom of the handle. Uh-huh. And you swing and follow through, the ball goes further. So you remember how you used to swing. Right. And how you swing now. Yeah, I'm doing much better now. You're doing much better you now. You get more distance. And and does the bat come around easier for you? It comes around quick. Do you seem to be able to hit pitches better uh, than you used to? Um, what I'm saying is sometimes with a high pitch, you can't properly uh, you know, roll your wrist. But with the overlap grip, you pretty much do it. Yeah, you can tomahawk it and still get a good hit. There you go. That's what I was looking for. So you, you recommend the overlap grip? Would you ever go back to the standard grip? No, I, I like the overhand grip. It's good. Okay, bud. Yes, sir. Thanks. Watching Frank here. He's another one that has a little bit of a modified overlap. Now, there's a lot of ways with this overlap grip. The main thing is you want to get down on the knob to get extension. Uh, without the top hand covering the bottom hand, you don't get all the flexibility and and, and the versatility that the overlap grip offers. And some people don't need it. You know, it's the art of hitting, we call it. Well, Frank, you know, I'm over there talking to Dan about arms and you roll your freaking sleeves up like, holy shit, look at, he's, he's got pipes even. I don't know, that shirt, I don't know if I, I may not be able to put it on YouTube, that shirt. Looks like a, a, a sexist shirt. Resort. You don't have to cover it up, dude. So how long you been using overlap grip? Um, a year and a half. So what do you, uh, I, now you've been using a year and a half, tell me your, your <laughs> feeling and, and the results you get with it. Well, I, I had only been playing for a couple months uh, when I started hitting with you and then uh, I just fell into using the overlap grip and because I hadn't been playing much. Fell into it, I didn't say, hey, you ought to use the overlap grip. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you gotta make but the story I, right. I, as usual, I, I didn't want to re really listen to you, but... <laughs> you don't day, really want to listen to me? Yeah, yeah. I told you how great I was, I, I didn't know, I? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, but I, I don't. I just started using it without thinking. You know, it. I never really told you how great I was. I was just telling you that you picked the right guy. Now You, you tell I, me how great you are every day. I do? Yeah. It's okay. But it's okay because it's good to be reminded. Well, if you don't love yourself, who else is going to love That's you? That's right. We, but we all love you, so you don't have to. But anyhow, yeah. Yeah. No, I well, look, I'm 78. You know, here's my problem. I'm 78. When I, I used to stay with all these guys hitting that far. They hitting it 20, 30 feet, maybe 50 feet. I don't know. Maybe, maybe hit it 70 feet farther than I do now. But I could stay with them. Now, at 78, dude, I can't I'll tell you a lesson. Don't. Well, you're doing medicine and everything. You'll be back. Well, yeah. Well, I know you're going to be back because yeah. you're too competitive. Yeah, well, I'll, 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 I'll be fine, but I think. Yeah. But, uh, um, let's get back to you. Okay. Um, but yeah, you did that. I told you that because I thought you had good wrists. Yeah. And it worked out good. And the other thing is, you didn't have to break your habit that much because right. you hadn't done it in so many right. years. Right. I never. Yeah. You know, hadn't been playing, so it fell into it. Wasn't thinking about it. How many guys on your team use that grip? Maybe half. Really? Seems like a lot of the big hitters do, but I don't know. I just. I don't know. I see that. That's a that's a fallacy because the overlap. You're you're a little guy. And you maximize your 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 physical ability with the extra technique like that because it allows you to hit the ball a little farther, gives you a faster bat, and it just makes you a better hitter. 
you know, in, in, you know, I mean, not that you couldn't be a good hitter the other way, but yeah. this allows you a few extra hits because you're able to hit pitches you normally wouldn't the other way, right? For me, for me, it works. And, um, you know, it, one of the things was what you had said, like the uh, snap, the, the snap and help me with my follow through. When I first played, I said your videos, yeah. I was just going like this. It was yeah. terrible. But and that this, helps you ca carry all the way through. Follow through all the way and have yeah. smoother swing. You recommend it to other people? Yeah. Okay, man, thanks. Frank's the uh, most improved player in the heart of hitting club. You got player of the year, didn't you? No, most oh. improved. Not most improved, year, okay. Not... Okay, well, I exaggerate a little bit. Now, Big Chuck, he uses the what one would call the, the full or the pro over that grip. Uh, there's all kinds of names for it, but he does put one hand over the other and it's off the bat. What do they call when you uh, photobomb a video? He was photobombing you. Oh, this man. is what they call Big Chuck. He don't even have his damn shirt on. I should turn the camera off. But he's got a look, don't he, folks? Look at this look. He looks like, uh, <laughs> he, looks like he should be in the damn WWF. Both for his big bigness and uh, that look, man. Look, look close, folks. Look at that, man. That's a classy look, man, with the old cool goatee and sunglasses, Hollywood style. Well, tell me, Hollywood, how long you been using overlap grip? Uh, when I started coming out here, I'd say probably about uh, two years. So you started because? Uh, you you approached me with it, and I started using it. Okay. It took me about probably six to eight months to really get used to it, because if I was struggling, I went back to the forefinger. But uh, lately, uh, I'm, as John related to, is that the ball jumps off a lot faster and I can wait longer. And I know that my, I got just trust your hands. That's what it's all about. And you get that whip and the ball goes probably 10, 15 feet further. That's good. That's good. Well said, my friend. Uh, and you are really smacking the bejesus out of the ball. You got a lot more distance now. And, and that's not from the grip. You've been using for two years, but that's from other things you're doing. Right. So what are the other things that you're doing? Well, the one day I was struggling with uh, rotation, mm -hmm. and then uh, you mentioned to me about, you know, bringing my leg up a little bit and load it on my back leg. Yeah, he is loading that then, back leg. And then turn and get my hips open. And once my foot hits, then then snap the yeah. bat. So that's that's a fundamental. The yeah. three fundamental things all hitters do: they load, they stride, make sure that front foot's down, and then your arms Tack are back. Off. Always keep your hands back, yeah. and you start that hip rotation, and you bring your hands around. And another right? thing is, I want to let you know is that uh, yesterday I was 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 working with Bob O'Brien a little bit. Oh, throw throw them big names out there. Wow! Well, <laughs> but thing is, is what I was doing was trying to get that stretch in, in the obliques uh -huh. and I was bringing my hands back like behind my shoulder. bow and arrow effect, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And then when I'd come across, I was already I was already uh, rolling over on the ball uh -huh. instead of going from here and then throwing the bat from, from you know, when I turn. Uh -huh. so, All in one motion like there, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, so that's, you know, the key and the, the, you know, is that if you do all, you know, the load, the stride, and then start to hit, you keep your hands back. Even if you're a little off on your time and your rhythm, uh, you'll get a pretty good swing off. Yes. But that's the whole time and rhythm that, you know, from what you just said about loading, getting that stretch of the bow and arrow. We got a video out there on the bow and arrow effect that if you want to walk, you get more looking into that. Yeah. So uh, what do you say to others? Should they use it or shouldn't they? Yes, if, if, if you're able to put the time in and not get discouraged at first, like I, you know, I was, getting a little frustrated because yeah I you got to get, get through hard. that everybody's got to get you, through you, it you got to get through the growing pains and once you get that and once you start seeing that ball jump off the bat and you're gapping people you're gonna like man this this grip is awesome okay buddy thanks thanks buddy. well now you have the input from about six players seven players uh on why they use the old life it's just regular players no superstars or pros uh you know and and basically it, improves the leverage uh, and improves your bat speed and adds distance. Uh, so it's up to you. Just out there for your evaluation. Please hit subscribe.